as it's docked from the Gold Hog. And uh, today, it's just a nasty Sunday out here, early morning, so I figured I'd come out and shoot some video on this new washer mat that we have, the finisher mat. Um, and I haven't really haven't put anything up on it yet because we've been going through so many series of testings. This mat has been in development for almost a year now, something we've been playing with. And what we really wanted to do, this is not a sluice mat, and I want to make sure of that. There are a couple quick points. This is a finishing mat. This is what you take concentrates, run your concentrates over, and reduce that down by, our goal was to, on the first run with almost no classifying, to pull out 95% of your gold, do it very quickly, no classifying, um, and reduce the amount of material down about 95%. So if I were to take a gallon of concentrates and run a gallon of concentrates through this, I'll end up um, on a 10 inch wide by maybe 30 inch wide sluice. I'll end up with maybe a quarter of a cup, something like that. So you end up with very little concentrate left. Um, you get a lot of your gold in your first pass. And what we're finding is we're catching a lot of our gold, big gold to small gold, down to like 100 mesh gold on our first run. Again, we're not trying to capture 100%. We're trying to get this clean. And what you're going to notice is at the top of the mat, because of the turbulence and settling issues, the top of the mat cleans a little bit differently than the bottom of the mat. So you can actually go in sometimes with a sucker bottle and clean the upper lines out with gold. But I've got a few different videos. I've got phone video, I've got camera video, I've got different things I might throw in here, I'm not really sure. But I wanna show you some of the testing. We came out with this mat. Uh, I spent a lot of money on dyes and testing and everything else and I scrapped it and went back to the drawing board. So this is version two, it's a little bit differently. The first mat was a little imbalanced in the exchange, but I'm gonna show you the new mat and how it kinda of works. Okay, so I brought the mat home. I brought this uh, test sluice home and just stuck it in my garage just because I knew I was going to run this stuff. But you can see what I've got. It's just a real basic setup here. Just a tub with a battery. I've got an 1100 GPH pump, which puts me at about 100 gallons per inch. So it's 10 inches wide divided by about 1,000 with the lift. Puts me at about 100 gallons per inch. I'm finding that that runs probably the best that I've seen. Now you'll also notice when you do this that you really have to have some kind of device in here to sort of smooth out your water. Because you're running at a low GPH, it's a lot like a Miller table, you want to get this smooth all the way across, you got to get it level. So you can use this mat, the goal was is to make a mat that you could put into, convert a regular high bank or sluice or make your own little system, convert it out and turn it into a concentrating device. After you finish running primary, then you take your cons, throw this mat in, throw a hook on a, you know, a $30 bilge pump, and now run your cons through and clean your cons down. It's just a real simple way to do it. But, so you can see it, this is the beginning of one mat right here. And you've got one, two, three, one. You've got one, two, and three sets of grooves per mat. Now the interesting thing is, is where these mats connect the first groove behind that will hold a little bit more material than the next two. Okay, so let me see if I can explain this through showing you on... Okay, so here's the top of the mat where it connects one mat to the other. This is the first groove, and you can see what I'm talking about, that it's pretty heavily full. Then you go down to the next one, and there's less material. You go down to the next groove, and there's less material down here. This was not planned. This is just sort of um, because of where this connects. This first groove actually holds a little bit more and this holds less and less, which I kind of like. What I'm doing here is I constantly have something open for gold to get caught in. That's kind of what I like about it. But what I've always noticed and what most people notice too is that is that the top of your mat, the top of your mat is going to be less is going to have less cons than down here. As the water starts to settle and smooth out, you're gonna have more concentrates down here. Again, I'm running 10 inches wide, 1100 GPH pump. And let me figure out the angle. Okay, and if you don't have one of these little apps on your phone, get one of these little angle indicator apps. But I can basically put this on here, and right now, I'm running this at about a six degree, six degree pitch. So I've got this set at a six degree pitch. Um, you know, you might run it at six, you might run it at seven, you might run it at eight, you'll vary it. But what I like to see 
is I like to see a little bit of fine black sand held in this. I really would, perfect tuning on this would be about seven degrees, but I don't have a way to adjust this down here at the house, so uh, I'm just gonna run some cons and let you take a look at it, and I'll show you some other material, other footage we have on it too. Again, the whole purpose of this mat, it's not a sluice mat. What this is designed to do is design reduce your concentrates down by 95% approximately and catch 95% of the gold that's within it on the first run down to fine gold in the 50 to 100 mesh range without having to do a whole bunch of classifying so you don't have to go and classify have your 1 8 have your 12 mesh your 20 mesh your 30 mesh your 50 mesh that kind of stuff gets old and then you don't I mean there's a lot of good products out there but they take a lot of time I mean your bowls and your tables that are out there by the time you have to specifically classify those down then let those run it's just very very time consuming I can run a gallon of concentrates just a nice slow feed probably in less than five minutes I'm done I take a gallon of concentrates down to about a quarter of a cup and now I can just pan that out and I'm done that was my goal and this is kind of what we achieved with this also if you have a gold cube if you have a ton of cons let's say you got five gallons you can run it through a gold cube that'll bring it down to about three or four cups then run it through on this table too and even super concentrate it even more so they work well hand in hand together too it's pretty nice so anyways like i said this is just a weekend garage run here i'm just going to hook up my battery nice big marine battery um, i've got 1100 gph flowing through here. You can see what I sort of do. I have a flood chamber up here. And then I actually put in a little spreading ramp up here too to even spread the water out even better. When you get to low water, it's hard to get it level and smooth. But you can see what I mean. But you can see what I mean. This first ramp holds more material. If I put my hand there, you'll see it blow out. But this ramp holds more material than the other ones, like this right here. Right now, I'm just running sort of some, this is some 50 mesh stuff, which is still all over my floor. And I'm just sort of just sprinkling it in here. And I just sort of let it just process in. And you can sit here and watch it, and it'll process down. It'll go from light to dark. But you can see that I have a little bit of black sand in these. There's the heavy amount. Less and less as I come down. So there's my first ripple. It's kind of heavily loaded. This has less, and this has less. Something's always open for the gold to hide. That's what I like to see. I'm just going to take my hand. So feed it in there. You don't want to feed it too fast. If you know anything about it, if you've ever watched one video you gotta watch is the incremental processing video um, on our gold on our gold mining lessons. I think it's number one or number two. There's a section in there on incremental processing and it'll show you about feed rates and, and how fast you need to feed something or slow you need to feed it. But just so you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just sort of just dumping these dry cons in here. I'll probably have some float, but... But, just for the heck of it, I'm going to take some of this unclassified stuff. Some of these are dredge cons. Again, I'm just going to just throw it in here. Dump it in and let it process down. Now, what you're going to see with this concentrates... These cons, you're going to see a lot of lead shot in here. We always catch a lot of lead, but you can see that little piece of lead dancing right there. That's pretty cool to watch that thing dance. And that's what you want to see. You know, I still see material and almost, I see a little bit of material in every groove. That's what I want to see. But it's all dancing and active. And I may even get some big gold just to just to show you what big gold does in here too. Because the fine stuff is what we've been focusing on, but I want to go ahead and put some big stuff in here too. You know everything is dancing right in there. It's kind of what we want to see. 
A piece of gold sitting right there. Fine stuff right in there. But you can see the lead. Okay, so I went and got some of these cons with some bigger gold in it. And I'm just feeding it in here, feeding it in here. This is not, you can see that there's, that there's a couple rocks. I mean, quarter inch would be fine to screen this to if you wanted to. That'd be a good size to run. But you really don't have to worry about it because of the way this mat is built. You don't have to worry about a lot of screening. But I do want to show you, now you can start to see the yellow line showing up up top. Remember, if you have flat flakes due to hydraulic equivalents <clears throat> and their profile, you will catch the flatter the flake, the more it'll flip down here. Or if you've got a heavy feed dump, real heavy feed dump, these are going to fill up due to incremental processing, learn that, and then it's going to move down as well too. So the majority of our gold should be right up in here in these first two sections. I have no matting up here. This is just flat. Two sections will cool most of our gold, but this is, remember, this gets really, really clean up here. Then it starts to slow down and fill up more, and I have more black sand. This mat looks like it's empty, but it's actually full of black sand. See that? That's from some of that Oregon beach sand. So where's the gold going to go? It's going to be hard for it to get into here. It's going to be real hard for it to work into there. That's why I like the fact that, yes, this one might be totally full, but then look at this one. Less full. This one, less full. Same thing here. This one, look how full that is. This one is not as full, this one is less full. So as it goes down, it's going to find a spot to hide in here. Now let me go ahead and shut it down for you. And hopefully what you'll be able to see, once the gleam, once we get the glare off, but you'll be able to see you'll be able to see some of the lines of gold in here. Very, very clean up at the top. And it's not just big gold up at the top. You'll catch a lot of super fines up here too. We catch a lot of fines up here. So, again, this Oregon black sand that we're running through here, that's really, really, really super fine. Probably messes things up a little bit compared to just regular concentrates, but I figured, what the heck, let's dump it in there and see. Again, when I run this through like this, I should probably be able to catch. Um, I really want. I really would like to run this at about a seven degree. I'm running at a six right now. I think. I would like to catch about 95 percent of my gold on the first run and reduce my material down 95 percent. That's the primary goal here. That's the new washer mat. And now one thing that's important too is uh, when we do this testing, we've done tons and tons and tons of these tests and we've got field testers that are also playing with this mat. But we break it down, so I go to the last mat and I clean that last mat out, look with the gold that's in there, then go to the next mat. So I have a total of six mats and I go in there and I clean mat number six, mat number five, mat number four, mat number three, mat number two, and I should see some gold all the way down. And then I should see, you know, maybe 5% of my gold in the tailings. That's the whole point of this. It's not to catch 100%. The goal is to clean it down as much as possible. You want to strip it down, strip it down, strip it down without classifying too much. That's the goal of this mat. Remember that. It's different than your, what you normally think. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break down. I'm going to wash one by one the mat so you can see. And remember, I should see gold all the way down and have a small amount of gold in my tailings because this is a cleaning mat. So, that's what I have in my last mat. Now, I'm going to have to get some jet dry because this stuff is just going to want to float away. But this is right there. That's my last mat. Hopefully you can see that. Again, 100, 150, even 200 mesh stuff. You know, just a tiny bit in there. That's what I like to see. A little bit of gold in that last mat. Okay, so here's mat number five. This is second from the bottom. Hopefully you can see right up in here. 
again, same type of thing, you know, 100 to 200 mesh gold, but I did want you to see this, you know, look at what I'm battling here, look at the, look at the hematite and lead, so I've got that size hematite and lead that I'm having to battle along with the fine black sand, and that's your gold right in there. So that's mat number five. Okay, so here's mat number four. Seeing a little bit more fine gold in here. Again, tons of this hematite in here. I'm having to deal with lead and hematite. This stuff is just packed in here. But again, this is concentrates, and that's what you're going to see. Okay, so here's mat number three. This is the third one down from the top, or fourth one up from the bottom, <laughs> so we don't get it confused. This is, so I've got a one mat, a two mat, three mat. This is number three mat right here. And I've got one little bit larger piece showing up, and a bunch again, a bunch of 50s, 100s, a bunch of fine stuff showing up there. Darken it down a bit for you. Let me darken it down some. Anyways, while I've got this down here on the ground, I might as well go ahead now that it's out of the box. I wanted to show you. Let's see if I can get it to shoot here. But this is, again, I've got flat mat here. This is the first mat right here. Ooh, right there. And I'm about to get rained on, so I gotta move quick here. You can see that there's a ton of gold up in this, up in this upper mat. Okay, so here's the second mat from the top. I'm gonna start saying that. And you can see the larger gold. That stuff is all. That's nice little chunky stuff. But then you can also see. That's the stuff I want you to see. I want you to see that super fine stuff that's way up at the top there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the top mat. This is the first mat. This is real cool looking here. So you see all the big gold in here, but look at this. This is the amazing part. Look at all that fine gold up there. I'm going to try and zoom in for you. That's the stuff I want you to see right there. All that gold at the top is below is sub 100 mesh. It's 100 to 200 mesh. It's just that's just great stuff. Looking there, and I finally got some jet dry in here. Look at that stuff. That's pretty cool. So anyways, I hope that wasn't too confusing for you because this is a different type of sluice mat. This really isn't a processing mat for long-term runs. This is a cleanup mat specifically targeting concentrates. Take your concentrates, zip it through. Again, right now, I'm sort of at uh, 100 gallons per inch. So on a 10 inch wide sluice, that's about 1100 GPH, bilge pump. Um, at about a six, seven or eight degree pitch, you wanna see a little bit of fine sand all the way through. And again, it's a real quick, quick cleanup mat. Convert any high banker or any sluice into a cleanup system with a, with a bilge pump. Or we have a lot of people that are actually now making these little um, wash tub cleanup systems for their concentrates. You run it through, takes five minutes, boom, you got the majority of your gold out. 
And if you want, like I did, you don't dump it all, clean it out all together, clean your top mat, pan the top mat. Clean your second mat, clean your second mat. Now you've got, by the time you've hit your third mat, you've got probably 80% of your gold or, or higher. The rest of it's just gonna be fine stuff. Again, you're not trying to capture 100%, you're trying to clean it down, clean it down, clean it down. But that's fun stuff. Doc with the Gold Hog, talk to you later.